Hello YouTube. I'm here in uh, Zunich, Switzerland, European country. Has a unique history. And he and here in this area is something called Game Town, which is like an arcade slash bar. Kind of like Barcade, only it has a mixture of new school and old school arcade games. It's a pr pretty unique establishment and by far a totally incredible experience. Are they told or new? I give you a tour of this place, show you the games they have, and and see what what they do. Okay, so as you can see, this is kind of like a pretty interesting place right here, a mixture of all the old school and new school games. Let's just start right here with Namco's Alpine 2, which is sort of like the uh, top skater and the snowboarder. Don't think they, don't think these type of games are popular due to many beliefs. Don't know why. Oh well. Next one is Sega's Airline Pilot. This is actually a simulator of an actual airplane. I don't know if this is how how, how trainees get to do with this, but I guess it makes sense. Sense fly fly through the um, adjacent area. So, I don't know if, it, if it's a good idea to have people people play this game and then think they can become real pilots. Trust me, when, I, when we were heading towards Switzerland, there was traveling while we were sleeping, which is major pain. Oh well, this could be fun. And of course we got here Fast and the Furious super bikes. Of course one of them is broken at the moment, but still it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Now we got uh, the Lost World Jurassic Park. It looks like it's working. Hard to tell because of the lighting. Still, fun. Right here is Rambo. Doesn't look like it's working at the moment. And of course, the popular Time Crisis 3. And here we got House of the Dead 3, which I think it's in a... has the Maze of Kings cabinet which is really really weird I think they have one in um, rumors in Fort Lauderdale but I wish I would have showed you a video tour of that but unfortunately I wasn't allowed due to some legal reasons actually actually has like the um, black loading shotgun which is nice moving on we got this um, Automatic bell ringer. And this here is a basketball shooter. A couple of retention games here and there. It's nice. Then we got this soccer game. I like how these uh, European redemption games seem a little artistic. That must be a boxing game unfortunately it's not working and the king but at least they have one here looks like it's working though they don't have much of lighting of course all around we see like football tables and air hockey tables now here's like a long list of pinball machines they've added nice to, nice to see see games that have more pinball machines than before Look, some of them look like instant classics in, in its own. We got fishtails. Of course, the uh, ever popular Sopranos, based around the, the pop hit TV series in HBO. And of course, there's Spider Man. Now, I've already given you like a review of my Spider Man, you made Spider Man movie. If you want to see it, it's in my YouTube channel if you would like and, and see what you guys think of it. Of course, they got here the um, ever popular Transformers. And the classic GoldenEye 007. Over here is Family Guy. That comes complete with a little mini pinball of Stewie's. 
Then we got Tron Legacy. Kinda like how they switch it from the from the classic Tron video games, like Discs of Tron and uh, Tron itself, then add a pinball with the Legacy on it. Very nice. And of course, the ever so popular and ever so classical Medieval Madness. And of course, right there is like a bunch of um, dark games. Okay, let's see. Let's go on the other side, show you the rest. Now we got this little go-kart game. Kind of reminds me of the one I saw in Dave Buster's in, Fort in Miami, Florida at the Dolphin Mall. Then we got Virtual Tennis 3. Oh no, this is unique. This right here is the um, some of a multi-cade of all classic arcade games. I've seen like a couple of classic arcade games cabinets are around some many areas and nothing like those um miss pac-man galaga reunion stuff now, i'm pretty sure it has like multiple types of games of course this one here is breakout but i think there are others like donkey kong and Frogger, and of course you got the pac-man series so yeah very yeah it's if you want to have your classical gaming on this is a good spot to do it over here is Virtua NBA, which is a which is a basketball game, and on and next to it is Virtual Striker 2002 from Sega. So yeah, basically two of them sports games. Here's another game here called I, something called DX Universal Cabinet. I don't really I don't know what type what is this about. It looks like a basketball. Oh, it's volleyball. Okay. Doesn't look like it's working though. Uh, pretty sure they'll think of it sometime in the near future. And we got virtual tennis. No, no. Doesn't look like virtual tennis. This looks like. Yeah, it looks like virtual hockey. Okay, so sometimes you these cabinets are a little mixed. Uh, at least, at least you got hockey to play around. And <laughs> my own personal favorites from either Xbox or Arcade, Guitar Hero. Now you see the big bar right here, which is a bar establishment. Plus we got this crane game called Good Luck with all the prizes, along with the ever so popular stacker. And I think these are like touch screen, um, yeah, these look like touch screen in cocktails. That one must have been like a quiz game, and this one looks like poker or blackjack. Yeah, poker. Of course, we got we got like one com computer right here. And I think these are multiple types of games. Of course, we got an internet station right here. I think they're playing uh, playing video game there though. What is that like? Call of Duty. Battlefield? I don't really know. Let's see, I think there's a few more to take care of. We got the slot machine, I think that is what it is, Big 21. Just a little um, all racing game. Kind of reminds me of that little mountain thing I saw a couple of times. Photo, play, a couple of um, casino like little games. Now let's go to up, run it to USB. Fortunately, one of the screens is working, the others are having a little trouble. But yeah, it's supposed to be a racing slash driving simulator. It takes you to different ra realms. Very nice. Then we got Sega Rally 2. And <laughs> wouldn't you know it, they even have a Star Wars Episode 1 arcade which isn't working. I think this is like the first Star Wars, one of the two uh, only pinball games that have this 3D like uh, g pinball machine. I guess it's all right. And of course we got plenty of cool tables right here. And wouldn't you know it, they got a couple of, of cabinets. This looks like the uh, bubble, bubble, 
puzzle game. Over here is something called um, Mr. Driller. These look like something straight out of Japan. I don't know the looks of it. And uh, why not? Miss Pac Man. Can't have an arcade without Miss Pac Man either in your 20 year reunion or whatnot. And this one doesn't look like it's working. So I think that's pretty much the arcade. This looks like a pretty nice place. You might want, if you if you want to go to Switzerland, you should you should head to this place if you're a big time gamer. If you want to stay around, I suggest go to Hotel Senator because believe it or not, it's close by. Very close by, actually. So I think that's pretty much it on the gaming front. Hope everyone anyone, everyone enjoyed this game, this tour, and I'll see. And I hope you got you guys stay tuned for more um, arcade games or more videos. So yeah, thank. So yeah, I'll see you guys around.